gives me great pleasure to officially launch High Speed One, Britain's first high speed railway, and to reopen this magnificent station, St Pancras International. It's a lot better, it's a lot quicker. It actually makes uh, commuting to London possible from uh, Canterbury, where I live, whereas before it was not an option at all, really. I mean, we come in from Ramsgate, but we actually moved down to Ramsgate because the service was coming in about 18 months ago, so it's obviously very important to us. Well, I've come from Canterbury, which is normally an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, and it goes down to an hour, and uh, it's been, for my, for my business, it's been fantastic. I can get to London do uh, meetings and be back in country mid-afternoon. Well, 10 years in the planning, I've been waiting 20 years for it, and uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. The idea behind the preview was to actually give customers an experience of this service to help our staff training programs and also to uh, turn this into a huge advertising uh, opportunity because the, this service is its own best advert. Once people have come on it and tried it, uh, they find it very, very attractive and tend to keep using it. So uh, we wanted in our preview service to give as many people as possible the opportunity to travel on these high-speed trains. Hitachi has very much a can-do attitude. In fact, it's, it's more than that, it's a must-do attitude. So the schedule is everything, the planning is everything, and everything is, is rehearsed before you actually get to where you need to go to in the program. Just to give you an example, I mean, th th these trains carry a lot of technology, so everything on the train will have either been through some kind of software simulation to prove it works, or we will have built a mock-up in Japan to prove the technology works, or we will have tested it thoroughly in Japan uh, before we ship the trains to the UK. So a lot of preparation work goes into this. The routes are two years ago when we first started working with South Eastern and with Hitachi, both in accepting the train for use on the infrastructure and working out our long-term relationship and how we could deliver benefits to passengers through that. We aligned the business principles, we developed the team ethic, and since then, although we've had some difficult times and some challenges, we have always delivered, as High Speed One did for its initial opening and on the growth of Eurostar, and we're very proud to have South Eastern working alongside us. I heard it was coming through, so um, yeah, I mean, it's great that it's here. It's great service. Press the quality service and the speed of the journey, which is why you use it, because it kind of cuts an hour off the, uh, of all the other services into London. It is a good service. For me, because I work this into London as well, so yeah, my husband can't use it because he lives in Victoria. So, but it, it is, it, for people who work this side of London, it's brilliant. It's been a great success. We've seen usage of a preview service increase from about 6,000 passenger journeys in the first week up to more than 20,000 journeys, so about a 200% increase. We have every confidence in our maintenance team here at Ashford. The preview has, has been fantastic for us in terms of ironing out some of the wrinkles along the way. Um, we're really looking forward to next year and delivering for our customers day in, day out. But for High Speed One, we always knew we had a success on our hands. The domestic service has been part of the story from the outset. It's part of the reason the route comes up through Kent. And we've worked with the people of Kent for a long, long time. So we were really excited when after the first couple of weeks, we saw trains extended from six to 12 cars. Shortly thereafter, we could grow the service to run at weekends as well. That opened opportunities for many more people. We were able to extend the routes down into Ramsgate and Dover, right into the real heartland of Kent commuters. That's driven really good numbers on the services. From a high-speed one perspective, we've kept the service levels very high, and the feedback we've seen from customers has been superb to date. Well, Hitachi is all about delivering quality. We brought the trains here, we commissioned the train. The first unit actually ran at 100 miles an hour on the second night of operation, which proved how good the trains were in terms of the quality of manufacture. Then it's about working very closely with South Eastern, the operator, with Network Rail, with uh, Union Railways in terms of making sure that we could demonstrate that the train is 100% safe. I have the utmost confidence that these trains will not only be an icon for future rail travel in the UK and for high speed, but also will set the benchmark in terms of quality of trains and reliability moving forward into the future. It's been really good, yeah, it's a really good service. I used it to go to Leeds last week and it saved me about two hours, I think, on the round trip. So for me, living in Ashford, it's a really, really good, good service. I, I think that uh, this, the extra expense is well worth it. Um, I don't mind paying that uh, because you're getting value for money. So it's very good. It takes about an hour off my journey if I'm going up country. So it's fabulous, it's comfortable, 
It's a smooth ride. The only thing that's lacking is a, the, the bar. Yes. <laughs> the buffet service. No, it's really, really good. And it's beautifully clean, it's comfortable, it's warm. I can't fault it. You just need more of them. So, thank God for this. Our December timetable change changes services right across our network. It boosts the capacity of the network by about 5%. It adds about 200 extra services. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to actually launch a, a revolution in rail travel, probably the biggest timetable change that Kent's seen for 40 years. Uh, so from our point of view, uh, our ambition for 2010 is to get that timetable to work well, to encourage more passengers to use the railway uh, and to build an even more successful business.